<sighs> My sincerest apologies, everyone. It's about time, time. <laughs> time, time. Oh, I wish you wouldn't always say that, Ariel. Well, I wish you'd be on time, time. <laughs> time, time. I can't help it. My alarm clock didn't go off this morning. It never does, does it? <laughs> does, does. I mean, if you're finished, can we get on with this? I've got a dozen lovers' brains that I've got to drive through before dawn. You're really hot. Can it, Fuzzball? I ain't interested. <laughs> Very well. I, time, call this meeting of the Union of Shakespeare's Supernatural Board of Trustees to order. Let the minutes reflect that the time is now... The time is now... Where's the watch? I have to get somewhere. It's 10.23 time. Yes, thank you, Ariel. 10.23. The meeting is now in session. <clears throat> now, a sorting roll. Please state your name, your play of origin, and what you shall be reporting on today. I will start. I'm Time, the prominent supernatural entity of the Regent's Tale, and chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Union of Shakespeare Supernaturals, or US. <laughs> and today, I have prepared a report on the necessity of punctuality when attending board meetings. Uh, uh, hey, ma'am, describing Romeo and Juliet. I'm reporting on decreased memberships. Now I'm planning a Valentine's Day ball for all the members, and I'll do some matchmaking there, and hopefully nine months from now, we'll have uh, increased memberships, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Yes, thank you, Mab. I think we get the picture. I'll spike your membership in time. Next! Uh, I'm uh, Caliban from the uh, Tempest, and I uh, don't really have anything to report today. Um, it was raining outside, and I saw a worm. And, um, you know, worms have lots of hearts. So, yeah. Thank you, Caliban. I'm Ariel from The Tempest. I'm the secretary of the board, and I'm here to report today on the union's new membership support program, Fairies Anonymous. Oh, yes, I do want to hear about that. How has F.A. been going? We've been making terrific strides. Robin Goodfellow, who's been using the alias of Pug because he's ashamed of his identity, has been making wonderful strides in our 12-step program. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Fairies Anonymous. My name is Iris, and believe it or not, I'm not a fairy. <laughs> I'm actually the god of the rainbow, and Juno and Jupiter sent me here to organize your Fairies Anonymous meeting because we gods and goddesses firmly believe in supporting inclusion, tolerance, and acceptance, as long as you're not immortal. Okay, so welcome, welcome. There are no mortals here, right? Okay, okay, great, great. So let's have our first speaker come up. I think you'll all be very happy to meet him. Come on up, come on, come on, come on. Hello, uh, my name is Puck, and I'm a fairy. Hi, Puck. Now, Pug, it's okay to accept who you really are. We're all friends here. I, I don't know if I'm ready. Just do it, Pug. We're gonna support you no matter what you say. Hi, um, my name is Robin, and I'm a fairy. Hi, Robin! <laughs> oh my gods and goddesses, that was fabulous! Great, that was wonderful. Okay, now Robin, I want you to tell us which step of the program you're on right now, okay? Okay. Well, I made a searching and personal inventory of all of the things that make me a fairy, and that is step eight. And then I made a list of all the things that uh, 
you know, of all the people that I've done harm to, which is step four. Oh, oh wait, is that step eight? Oh, I don't know. That's, I keep mixing them up, and I don't know why I keep doing that. And I, I, the stupid part, you're stupid, you're stupid. That's okay, Robin. Admitting your mistakes and accepting that we're powerless to control them are important steps, too. You're doing fabulous. Please sit down. Dead pup. Stupid pup. Dead brain pup. Stupid. And now, I have exciting news! We have a new fairy joining us, and he's come all the way from India. So, do I have any volunteers that want to be his sponsor? I will. No, no, I will. Obi, you know I'm a better sponsor than you are. Oh, I beg to differ, Titania. I knew his mother, it's only fair. Okay, but you know he totally had more fun with me as his sponsor. But you got the last one, and look how he turned out. Foolish pup, stupid pup, brain dead pup, puck, 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 puckity puck, puck, puck. Okay, you have a point. But I'll do better with this one. Sure you will. Stop being such an ass. Whoa! Okay, remember fairies, no derogatory language. We all accept each other for who we are. She started it! No, you started it! That's it! I'm leaving. So it's had its ups and downs. It was a dumb idea in the first place. Any fairy who doesn't want to be considered a fairy shouldn't be a fairy in the first place. Well, that's not what you said three meetings ago, Bab, when we voted on whether or not to create Fairies Anonymous. And as I recall, you voted yes. That's because I thought it was going to be fairies wearing masks and getting to uh, That's okay, Bab. We'd rather not hear what you thought fairies were going to be doing. In I want to hear. Ugh, get lost, beetle bread! Order! Order! Well, thank you very much, Ariel, for that informative report. And nice work. It sounds like the initiative is really ticking off. <laughs> now, next week we are going to be discussing the Ghost Compensation Initiative, which I know is a heated topic. But at this point, I would like to adjourn the meeting. All those in favor, say aye. Aye! Present. Meeting adjourned.